all right so good to be back welcome back to my channel my name is Edson today I want to show you how we can repair a corrupted database all right so you can see right here I have my ZAMP control panel and so I want to start these two services Apache and MySQL so if I start Apache um, you can see Apache is working but if I start my SQL you can see what's happening down here I have this error right here my SQL shut down unexpectedly so this may be due to a blocked port missing dependencies improper privileges a crash or a shutdown by another method this is a corrupted database and so we want to repair that database so the way you do that is you go to your zombie installation so mine is in my d drive yours could be in your c drive find where you installed zamp in this folder right here you want to double click to open and you want to go to mysql so this is my sql database this is the one that we want to fix okay because you can see right here it's my sql that we are having problems with and so i'm going to open up my sql double click to open and you can see right here we have a number of folders right here we want to duplicate this data i uh, want to bake it up in case we run into some issues and so the first thing we need to do is right click and we want to copy this we want to duplicate control v to paste it right here you can see it says data copy i want to rename this data underscore duplicate you can name it whatever you want this is the one that you want to repair All right so before we move ahead you can see there's a backup folder right here if you open this backup folder these are the files you want to delete from that data folder you want to delete this file called mysql performance schema php my admin and test and all these other files that are down here except for one file which is this ib data one right so if i am to go back i have to open this data and so each and every folder you can see it corresponds to your database that you created in php my admin so i have this blog up and etc so the, the folders that we want to delete uh my sql performance schema php my admin this one and then test this one these four folders how do i know if you go to your backup you see these four folders these are the ones that you want to remove from that data and so i am going to go back into the data folder my sql performance schema and then php my admin and then test so i'm gonna hit delete hit that delete and then they're gone right those files are gone and also every other file except for this ib data so i'm going to select all these files down here do not delete these folders up here because these are your databases and then hold control deselect ib data and hit delete right here once you clean up this folder right here called data i want you to go back to this folder called backup select everything except for ib data and then hold control and then deselect this ib data because we do not want this and then i'm going to say uh, control c to copy this and then go back inside your data now we're going to replace those files that we removed and so i'm going to right click here and then i'm going to hit paste and you can see now we have these files back these are the new files that we took from from the backup folder which is this folder right here so let me go back right here i need to close this and restart double click to open and now i can restart my services let me see apache if i stop and restart and then my sql look at my sql if i start my sql now it's working you can see my sql is no longer having any issues it's not working this is how you have to do it if it's not working if changing port is not working any other solution is not working you have to clean up your database because it will be corrupted i hope uh, this has been helpful if you find this video helpful you can leave a like subscribe to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers